It's a bird. It's a plane. Ha ha, I fooled you. It is neither of the two. It is the super fly individual known as Tempo. T-E-M-P zero. Something like temporary account number zero. But this is me and I am back with my first Yes, number one, the first professional cast I've ever done before between two amazing, skilled, skilled players. One in the bottom right, the purple Terran known as AAA Saturn is now mining minerals with his SCVs, weighing in at 112 APM. That's quite fantastic. And in the bottom left corner, ATN Zuki, also known as Sock. I'm gonna call him Zuki because on the internet I read that one day and um, everyone was spelling his name wrong. I mean, saying his name wrong, but I will call him Zuki because I think it sounds better. Weighing in at 115 APM. That is quite fantastic. Now, this is my first pro cast and I am very glad to bring you this uh, cast with these two players because I have actually watched a few of Zuki's games. I've never ever watched AAA Saturn his games before but um i am sure that he's quite a skilled player if he is playing against zuki so as we can see here we have the gateway going down at a regular time as is the barracks for saturn and he's gonna send a scouting probe out to see what is going on in the terran opponent's base back back in camp saturn we are not exactly sure what he's gonna be going for because at this stage of the game you really can't judge a build, um, you know, the only indicators are maybe that the fact that he's not gotten any gas yet, which is quite interesting. Uh, he may be going for the two racks, fast expand build, maybe even one racks. Oh, look at them kissing. Yeah, it's just so beautiful. But as we can see, the gas has gone down for Zuke. He's putting down this pylon here because look at this. They're in close positions, right? So he needs to know is if ever the Terran opponent is going to try to come into his base and destroy these rocks because you do not want that easy access into your base. That would be quite, quite a bad thing. And Hall, oh, gotta love this about Protoss, right? You attack it until the shield is down and then you go right and run away and let your shield recharge and then bing, bing, zap him once more. And the orbital command is going down. Um, a marine is in production to chase this pesky little probe out of here. Oh, will he make it? Can he outsmart his opponent? Look at that, look at that clicking. Goodness gracious. Oh, will this probe make it out? I don't think he's gonna do it. Yeah, he could. Oh, 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 he's going around. He's done. All right, poor boy, poor, poor boy. I bet he had a family. I think his name was John. Uh, could have been anything, but um, it's a shame that he lost his uh, life in that epic battle that he had no chance of winning but uh the first zealot is coming out for um atn zuki and it is running valiantly to the middle of the map maybe yeah huh i don't know where he's going but we also have up here something ah an scv ha huh, that must be bob he's cool he's just chilling doing his damn thing and the stalker is coming out for zuki probably to um chase out any scouting SCV that would try to make a return, but what do we see here? We see a bunker going up and an expansion. Goodness gracious, yes, this is quite a common build for the Terran player. Named AAA Saturn. So he has three Marinas out and the expansion is going up. The Zealot's gonna find out what's going on, but he needs to get out of there. Go, 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 go. Leave, leave that. Wow. Bunker finish exactly in time to um, deflect that attempt of an attack. Oh, we have Stalker coming in. Yes. This is Chris the Stalker, and he's walking so fast. Stalkers are so incredibly fast. It's quite amazing. But we have an expansion going up for Etienne Zuke as well. Now, that's a good thing to do because he probably can, you know, he feels like he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the macro game with this Terran player named AAA Saturn. But we have an attack about to happen because it seems like he's convening with, oh, look at this. All of these two Stalkers and a Zealot are going to chase that SCV out and we have an attack going in he's running right by the bunker that's what he needs to do don't stop go keep going he might lose a stalker but no he's running back the marines have to get out they're shooting he's trying to deflect oh soak up some damage with those SCVs but that is exactly what Zuke wants to do he wants to take out as many SCVs as he can to get an economic lead and these stalkers are gonna go down 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 how many kills oh I did not see how many kills that was but I believe he got maybe three or so SCV kills with that engagement now that uh, the expansion is not finished for, excuse me, for Zuke, but, but in the bottom left corner of this base is a Twilight Council. Now, this can mean two things. Well, it can mean many things. Let's say a, it can mean a lot of things. Maybe he's going for, you know, quick, quick upgrades, but he doesn't have a Forge out, so that's not likely. Or maybe he is going for some charge lots, blink stalkers, 
um, a High Templar Rush, which is highly effective, I heard. Psych, but um, the most interesting of them all could be the Dark Templar. But what do we have here? We have Marines on the map, and I believe it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Marines. Goodness gracious, what is going to happen here? This, ooh, stock these, get out of there, leave, ooh, go back home, back to where you go. Now, these probes are going to have to actually run away, he's selecting them, yes, he's getting them away just in time, but the Marines are coming in to try to take out this Nexus, what does Zuke have? Zuke has nothing, he has a stalker and a sentry, but look at these Marines going to town on, oh, as the Marines come to reinforce, the Marines are coming to reinforce, oh, this is not good for Zuke, this Nexus just might go down, I hope it doesn't go down, because I'll make for a very uninteresting game, uninteresting game is what I meant to say, and now Zuke is coming out with his force, he has two stalkers and a sentry and some probes, the zealots are behind, they need to get in front to chase these Marines out, if this Nexus goes down, he'll be so far behind, it would not be good, but look at this, ooh, a Tempo-esque force field, yes, just for the heck of it, this is what you do, but these Marines may be getting chased out, look at how good these stalkers are against the Marine fire, look, they just, oh, goodness, oh, wow, the Marines are not, they are relentless, they do not give a damn about these stalkers, they say, you go to heck, go to heck, I say, go to heck, Sugar Honey Ice Tea, this is ridiculous. I really hope this Nexus does not go down, because it will be quite unfortunate for Zuke. This is not looking good. This is not looking good at all, but I have missed this in the fray. Oh my god, there is a Dark Shrine on the way, and this Nexus just might go down. No, it is not going to go down. Zuke has now deflected that attack, and it's a great thing that he did, because this right here, my friends, just might win the game for him. A Dark Shrine... <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I am so excited right now. Wow, I need to take a sip of Gatorade. But the Dark Shrine right now is... Whoa. Look at these... Okay, I thought there was an engagement. But the Dark Shrine might be the game-changing um, factor because what do we have on the Terran Command Center? We have 13 energy and 7 energy as a mule just came down. That's not good because once these Dark Shrines... Dark Shrines? <laughs> these Dark Templars go in. See, Dark Templars? I know Bob and uh, Chris and uh, John, you know, those those names of the uh, other units that died. I know they had names, but this Dark Templar does not even have a name. His name is cloaked. Yes. As he slips by. Strikes. Strikes. But we have the, another Dark Templar coming in here to take out some SCVs and a mule. Go right for the mules first. That is what you do. But in here, too, we have a Dark Templar killing the mules, and he does not have enough to... Oh, no, he does not have enough to scan. What are you going to do when there's Dark Templars in your base, boy? You can't do nothing. And this is not looking good for Saturnus. And that will be the end of the game. That was quite amazing. I really thought that Nexus was going to go down. Had Zuke lost that Nexus, it could have been... Oh, so, so bad. So bad for him. But those Dark Templars may have saved the day anyway because, you know. Oh, I did not even see that. Wow. Warp Prism. Good, good lord. That was good, though. But um, I am glad to bring you my first professional game between Zuki and Saturn. But it has now come to an end. It is over, unfortunately. But I will be doing more casts in the future. And I hope you enjoyed this one, my first pro cast. I have... I need a medal. I need something. So I hope everyone has a great President's Day. Even if you don't have presidents in your wallet, it is all good, baby, baby. Just give love and give peace and grease in the Middle East. You know what I'm saying? I am done. I have finished the cast. Goodbye, friends.